Here is a very important test question. Find y intercept for the line to be tangent to parabola. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this test practice series, we are taking up questions based on quadratic equations. These questions are selected from past five years test papers. I hope going through them will help you get better marks just as most students of mine get. In case you want to learn directly from me, you can join my classes by sending an email on the address given and follow the success path to achieve your goals. The question here is, the line y equals to minus 2x plus k is tangent to the parabola y equals to 3x squared plus 4x minus 1, find k. Very important question. Sometimes it comes as a bonus question also. Now when we are saying that the line is tangent to the parabola, it really means that there is only one point of intersection. So of course we are going to equate the two things and find the point of intersection. But the idea here is not really to find the point of intersection is to find the value of k, right? So, so let's begin by equating the 2, which is minus 2x plus k should be equal to the parabola 3x squared plus 4x minus 1, right? So when you equate, we actually can find from here points of intersection. Now we are given that this line is a tangent. Tangent means there is only one point of intersection. And what does that mean? That really means that if I have an equation ax squared plus bx plus y equals to 0, then the solution being 1 means that b squared minus 4ac should be equal to 0. The discriminant, which we call this as discriminant d, is equal to 0, correct? So, we are interested in that value of k, which will make discriminant 0. So, I hope you understand the question, right? You can now pause the video and answer. Let's do the needful. So, let's take all the terms to the right hand side. So, we have here 3x squared plus 4x minus 2x comes here with plus 2x and then we have minus 1 and minus k. Clear? So, in this equation, when you simplify it, you get 3x squared. 4 plus 2 is 6. Right? And then, oh, we can write this as minus, you can also write plus here, right? And within brackets, I can write minus 1 minus k. So, that is the constant. So, we want b squared minus 4ac to be 0. So, here what is a? The value of a is 3, right? Value of b is 6 and the value of c is minus 1 minus k. You see that? So, what is b square minus 4 is c? So, which is 6 square minus 4 times a is 3, right? And c is minus 1 minus k and that should be equal to 0. You understand? This will give you the value of k. Is this concept clear to you? Perfect. Now, just move on and uh, simplify. So, since those terms are negative for us, so we can just open this up. We got 36 minus and minus. We can just multiply all these terms, right? So, we can say plus, right? Minus and minus becomes plus, right? 12 times. Let me write 1 plus k now equal to 0. Correct? Makes sense? So, we can write 12 times 1 plus k equals to minus 36. Divide by 12, we get 1 plus k equals to minus 36 by 12, which is minus 3. 
and so the value of k is minus 3 minus 1 which is minus 4 makes sense so we have got the value of k as equal to minus 4 and for this value of k the line will be tangent to the given parabola makes sense right so that is how we have to solve this particular question well, you could always extend this question to find the point of tangency, right? So, let me write down here as an extension. Since you are practicing for the test, it's a good idea to do so, right? Also, find point of tangency. So, now, for that, substitute k right substitute k and then solve the equation right then you will get the point of tangency also makes sense right so that is how it should be done i hope it helps you feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best